Okay, so you come members now, we are going to see now the detailed questions in bearing. Here, you are going to see how you draw those diagrams between the I mean between the towns when they are giving you journeys and so on. But please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, here in such questions, we always use a graph paper. All you are working, I advise you to put it on a graph paper. Let us see how we go about them. I think that's the town B is 30 kilometers due east of town A. Town C is 25 kilometers from A on a bearing of the south 30 degrees towards the west. Using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 5 kilometers. Of course, this scale is allowing us now because you are going to use a graph, you can't put kilometers on a graph. That's why this scale is going to take a pass to convert to centimeters so that you can easily put them on a graph. Draw the diagram showing the two times. Now, here you start by drawing a sketch. A sketch is going to help you in your acrylic diagram. So, here I draw, I'm going to put my simple sketch. Now, the sketch is said, so town B is 20 kilometers due east of A, meaning I need to get past the whole town A. So, if I put here, this is the sketch, just it's not the acrylic diagram. So, this is my only town A. So I don't need that B is 10 kilometers. So you just measure out some, some kilometers. So I think that's my 10 kilometers. This is due, it's like they are saying due east. So due east is that order. Then this will be my town B, and that will be my north. So distance there now, so that's it's 10 kilometers. Now, from 20 kilometers, I don't mean that town C is 25 kilometers on a bearing of south, so now we are starting from the south, 30 degrees towards the west. So, meaning where town A is, I made up 30 degrees, which is going to be somewhere there. I made up 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Why 30 degrees? Because from south, Sit from top and make a further degrees going to the west. So these are going to be 25 kilometers. Where are those 25 kilometers from? Where my town C will be. So that is a simple sketch, and this one is going to carry you one to two months. So then after that, now because you need to put the runners and put this diagram, I mean these two three towns on the graph. Now I need to convert. Their distances to St. Midas. So, conversion. Of distances to St. Midas. This is what we are going to see. Now, the first is 20 kilometers. This 20 kilometers is AB. So, now my AB, what we do to get this distance, 20. Divide by, we divide it by the given scale. Our scale is 5. So I divide this by 5. After dividing that by 5, what we are going to get will be in centimeters. And this one divide there, we get 4 centimeters. It means that now my AB is 4 centimeters. Now when I come 25 centimeters, I mean 25 kilometers, the same idea. This 25 is our SC. It's going to be now. The 25 divided by the scale. The scale was 5. So these are now going to be centimeters. And this will give you 5 centimeters. Now, why are we converting? Because we can put the centimeters on the graph. We can't print their kilometers. So now, after converting, it means that we can now turn to your accurate diagram. Be done in graph paper. So now, you see that this page is going to help you when you are constructing your acrylic diagram. So I start with point A, but point A is here. So if I put my point A here, if I put my point A here, so this is the north. This is my point A. Now, you see that I'm going to cover off down for centimeters. 
So me, I'm going my four centimeters. I'm going to be measured from here. I'm going to reach four centimeters. Mine are ending there. Then you join there. Join this to that. Now, it's always good I use those squares. Those squares, you know, like should be passing through those thick squares, not the small ones. It should be passing through those thick squares. So now, on a graph, this one is going to be now 4 centimeters. Now, they are going to mean that here I need to measure of 30 degrees. Now, you go to a contractor, you see that 30 degrees are to the left of the north line. So now, also your contractor should be facing that side. So then from here, I put there. So now this time, I'm starting from the south. So from the south, I measure of 30. My 30, this is 0, 10, 20, so my 30 is there. Then after drawing that 30, then you come and you measure also the pipe. Your line you're going to draw is going to pass through this 30 degrees. But also, it should be 5 centimeters. So you come and you measure off the 5 centimeters using your ruler. So my 5 centimeters in relation to this. So my 5 are going to be here. So now I draw. It passes through this map of 30 degrees. Like this. Then where 5 centimeters are ending. Where they are ending, now you draw a compass. There with its. So now, this one, this one is going to be now my town C. This is my north. And now from here up to here, we have seen it's going to be 5 centimeters. So now, members, I have finished drawing, representing it on a graph. So, that's how what you should, that's what you should also do. Then you come to the questions. Draw the three towns, so the three towns are already there. Then you find the distance between C and B. Between C and B. Now after making this, now I combine between C and B. I combine those two. So you put your ruler there, then you combine B and C. I mean you join the down B, down C. Of course, using dotted lines. So, they want this distance now. So, how are we going to get this distance? This, remember, from here, it was 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So, now, we want us to get this distance BC. So, from here, I start. What I'm going to use. I know, I know this angle is 30 degrees, this one is 90 degrees, so I'm missing this side. The question is, can we get now this angle here? Anyway, the distance between C and B, this distance, you just come and you get your ruler like this, then you measure off that distance. So me, when I measure from here, up to here, these are going to be 7.7 seven centimeters. So from here, my BC, my BC is 7.7 seven centimeters. But now, after getting these two centimeters, now you convert them back to kilometers. Why? Because your polygonal question was in kilometers. How do you convert them to kilometers? Now, we get this times the scale, this times the scale, so I get this, 7.7, 7, then times 5. Now, when I move prime, because the scale is 5, so it's saying if you know more it's from small to big, we, I mean from big to small, you know that we are going to now to, I mean, we multiply this by 5 kilometers because it was our scale. So after more prime better, this one now is going to be Kilometers. So this now you be seven 
So it's the TM meeting at 8.5 now, kilo meters. That's going to be my distance, BC. So after getting BC, now I've measured it in centimeters, then after you put them back to kilometers by multiplying by that. So from there now, this is Roman numeral, this is part B, then my part C, the bearing of C from B. C from B. So this is the bearing we want. C from B. From there up to there. So how are you going to get that bearing? So now Roman numeral C, how are you going to get this? Now, it's that first of all, we need to know this angle here. Or we first get this off, we need to know this angle here. Here, if I know this angle, I know from here up to here. From here up to here is 90. So if I know this angle, I can just get this angle here. So how are we going to get this angle? We are going to use now, of course, this one is 7. 27 centimeters. There I'm going to use sign rule. This I know I can get this angle because of this one is 9, of course. So this one, the whole of this angle. And this side, now, then I get this angle, I go to this. So now there, I'm going to use the sine rule. Using sine rule. You see that? Now, this one is going to be, okay, let me draw that triangle here. Okay, sine rule says A over sine A equal to C over sine c. So allow me to divide it this into two here. Now, if I just put this triangle again here, this is what I'm going to be having there. So this is what I'm having. So I want to get this angle theta. So from here, 90 plus this, the whole of this is going to be 120. This is a, b, and c. Then this is 7.7 centimeters. Then this is 5 centimeters. Then this is 4 centimeters. So now I'm going to use sine rule. So this is my small a, this is my small c, and this is my small b. So now you see I need this angle. So I'm going to use b and then this. Also here I use this and this. So I'm going to say so from my a over sine a, the b point is still now b over sine b. So from here I start my a is 7.7, .7. my b is 5, my a is 120, then my angle b is the theta of four. So can you substitute? So how about substituting now in cross multiply? We start if I cross multiply the sign I have now 7.7 7 sine theta equaling 5 times sine 120, then start my sine theta will be the whole over 7.7 7. and so your theta will be tan inverse of the whole of this. So for me I have five diamonds. So here we are having started from point So if this is the theta now, remember I want the bearing. So this is now, that's that this one now is C. So I know now this angle here. It's C started from point two one. So now if I know that angle, it means that now the bearing allow me to use this part here. Allow me to also use this part. So now my part C. The bearing, the bearing is going to be, now I'm going to add this 90 plus this 90. Now, if this is 30, if the whole of this is 
back and then the balance here is going to be one. What will be this balance here? That is perfect for then you get just nine. Because the whole of this is nine, so you get this minus nine, and at least we have in this. So this one is going to be 55.79. So now the bearing is going to be 90 plus 90, then plus this way we get the 90 from here, then the 90, then this arm here, which is 55. Point seven nine, and so that will give us two hundred at five point seven nine degrees. So, members, that's all. That's how we handle that question. I think uh, I've been close to it. I wish you the best. You can leave in the comment or a question in the comment section below.